Sienna Solberg, and she is the director of Spark Art. Yes. So you have to say Spark with explanation point. Um, explanate ex explanation? No, ex, ex exclamation. Exclamation. Mornings are hard for me, but <laughs> likewise. <laughs> but Saturday should be easy for you guys because Spark is doing an event, plural, all over uh, downtown Missoula yeah. and MCT, right? And yeah. Well, they're going to participate. They actually, their location is unavailable, but they're going to participate. They have in so the many event. things going yeah. on as well. Because yeah. I know that they're doing, uh, is this part of their, uh, never mind, let's not talk about MCT. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> they are doing a play, they're doing Charlotte's Web. Yes. Which is actually part of National Arts and Education Week and part of Spark Arts. And so we actually sent all of our second graders from MCPS oh. over there to watch the play, and that's nice. their arts enhancement. So they're doing that this so, week. So let's talk about this raffle. So apparently um, yeah. you you want to encourage these kids to go to these things. Yeah. Um, they have to go to at least five yes. of these uh, uh, arts events, Yeah. and they can be entered into a raffle. Yeah, so. it's exciting for sure. So yeah, they just need to try five different arts activities on Saturday get into a raffle. Um, there's two tickets to MCT. There's some books from Fact and Fiction. There's some things from Upcycled, uh, Rock and Rudy's. Wow. Zach is um, donated a gift card for one of their after school activities. So it's it's great. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So uh, this event basically kicks off uh, what time around 10 a.m.? It's 9 a.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And so there's little art stations from pretty much down by Clark Fork Market to the Red X's. And they're just kind of placed around that area. So we have um, First Interstate Bank is going to do some African dance and drum. Oh. Yeah. And then there's Cloth and Crown with Bubble Art. The Five on Black parking lot in front of Mountain Berry Bowl is going to have some poetry with Writing Collaborative, as well as Turning the Wheel is going to have some events there. Nice. Yeah, and weaving over at Jimmy John's, some more dance, but salsa dance, nice. at uh, <laughs> Glacier Sotheby's and Downtown Dance Collective is involved, as well as um, Top Hat Patio is going to have MCT and Rosie Ayers is going to oh. be there to do some theater games. So let's talk a little bit more about Spark. What yeah. is the importance of Spark in the community and within the schools as well? Yeah, so we're an initiative from the Kennedy Center to bring more arts into MCPS K-8 um, grade level and really we're trying to ensure equal access to the arts for all of those kids. Um, level the leveling the playing field to make sure that all kids have access to arts. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, arts is such an important thing. It like is. Uh, even for the economy. I remember uh, Tom Benson gave a talk about how arts impact the economy. Like people yeah. come downtown to look at the arts, but then they spend money in the downtown Missoula area. Right. So totally. the the there's no there's a lot of that's the thing about art. It's it's it, it is very fluid. Right. It's like you don't know how much it benefits right. a lot of kids until it does. Yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't know that knowing this thing about this instrument would help me in my math course. Right. Totally. So there's just a lot of different things associated with arts that definitely need to be within the schools. Yeah. And there's, you know, arts for art's sake where you're creating something solely for the purpose of art. And that obviously has its benefits, um, creativity and that sort of thing. And then there's arts integration where you're um, learning an art form and curriculum standards yeah. at the same time. And you know, the importance of arts, I think particularly, particularly in this day and age is that it's building those 21st century skills that kids need to be successful adults. Cool. Yeah. And I mean, like, I thought it was really cool because a couple years ago I filmed uh, like a, a, a classroom setting where uh, they were basically teaching, um, you know, national and uh, historical landmarks through dance. Oh, yeah. And so there's like, here's a dance move for the Statue of Liberty and yeah. all that stuff. And it's like really interesting kind of like how they associate that with teaching as well. Right. And you remember that. And I bet I, the kids remember it. Yeah. You know, like it's it's great with memory retention and and that kinesthetic learning. Right. Yeah. Cool. So uh, once again, this event's going on all around downtown. Zor Museum. You yeah. got uh, Downtown Dance Collective. Yes. You got uh, basically, uh, hey, if you're going to um, 
Saturday, uh, no, uh, if you're going to the markets this yeah. weekend, encourage your kids to come with you. Yeah, exactly. Check out some art, and they might win some prizes through the raffle. I know. Yeah. There will be um, signs that will indicate where the art spots are, nice. too. So look out for the signs. All right, so where can people find more information about Spark? Yeah, www.sparkartslearning.org. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sienna. Thanks so thank much, Scott. I really Is there anything it. else you want to say? I don't think so. Awesome. We're well, just